right, fam, welcome back to another video. Today I have a very, very, very special guest. Her name is Salome. And what this woman does, look, I'm not even gonna introduce it. What I'm gonna do is have her introduce herself. I truly feel in the deepest depths of my heart that nobody can represent themselves better than themselves. So Salome, would you please just introduce yourself to my team and everyone who's following you already knows what you do, bro. So just do your thing. Hey everybody, and how are you today? I am so excited to share with, uh, with you today a little bit about me and some of the things I had to deal with and struggle with and overcome and, 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 just, and, and just be grateful for. Um, well, my name is Salome Williams and I am a, I'm a wife, a mother, um, I am an, a, an author, I am a youth leader, I am a uh, singer songwriter um, I, I I do so many things but um, one thing that is very passionate to me is to is people people are very important to me I love people I love to connect with people I love to just communicate and share uh, my story and listen to other people's story and um, and and Find, um, find out ways that I can help them to excel, help them and to pull them out, even from some of the places that they are that are not so good or are not at the point that um, they want to be. So I really love people. I really love people. And, and, and I, love, I love sports. I love tennis. I'm a tennis girl. I watch basketball and stuff. But just some of the things that I really like to do, I love to spend quality time with my family that is very near and dear to me, my husband and my son, and just friends on a whole. So I'm just me, really happy. <laughs> Things are not always perfect, but you know, I always try to find joy and, 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 and peace and happiness in the littlest things so that I'm not, you know, don't drive me crazy. <laughs> and isn't it easy to drive ourselves crazy when we don't focus on the things to be grateful for? It definitely is. It is distracting. It is very distracting. And we don't want to get this the word. Especially I love this that. Season. You gotta stay focused. Yeah, focus. <laughs> focus for sure. You know, the way that Salome and I even ended up being on this video call together is that I thought of her, okay? And I prom this is to on my mom. I thought of Salome two, three days ago, and I said, Oh my god, I gotta hook back up with Salome. And then literally three minutes afterwards. I get a phone call coming into my phone. I picked up the phone. I said, Salome, you know what? I'm not even surprised anymore. <laughs> we, we, we done hooked up through the ether uh, uh, dimension. You know, we, we hooked up elsewhere. So it, it's just a, a beautiful thing when two women like ourselves can come together and really vibe out and, and feel out each other's love for people. For one, I just made a video saying how much I love people. So I think that may be another reason why we're so intertwined and connected with one another. Uh, we've been wanting to do this for a year. So thank you for introducing yourself, Salome. I really do appreciate that. And for Salome's yeah. crowd, for those of you who don't know who I am, my name is Makaija Kisi, and I host my own uh, YouTube channel. I have a channel called Direct Sunlight Life. And if you go in there, you'll find out what it's about. I create videos. I uh, am an author as well. I'm not as good as Salome yet, but I will get there. <laughs> I haven't fully yeah. delved myself into the music industry like I want to, but that is another passion of mine. I love people. I, I, I love everything about life. And that's what we, that's why I named it Direct Sunlight Life, because we wouldn't even exist if the sun was not giving us its power. So, Salome, you just recently released a book in 2019. Is that right? Yes, I did. September 12, 2019. And I have it right here. I want to share with you all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bring it up closer. I want to see the, the cover of it. Okay. Giving birth to purpose, baby. That's what I'm talking about. Talk about it for me. Wow. This book is my baby. Um, this book is a little bit about um, myself, how I grew up, um, some of the things that I, I dealt with and ways in which um, I, I had to deal with them um, with the help of family members, pastors, friends, and even foes. <laughs> you best believe it. They helped to propel me and to push me. And so this book was really, it was birthed from an uncomfortable place um, mm -hmm. because I recognized so many of us um, 
uh, in these days, we have come up with so many excuses why things are so hard and things are so tough and we can't, we can't catch a break, we can't do nothing, we can't get this opportunity, but not recognizing that there is an opportunity in every situation. It doesn't matter what you go through, how you were raised, how you were grown up, what you had, what you didn't have. That's the uncomfortable place that you have to birth things from because when things come so easy to you, it goes just like this. It goes just like this. You have to work hard. You have to persevere. You have to have endurance. Uh, you have to be able to just figure some things out for yourself. You know, um, I, I, I like this. I'd rather somebody teach me how to fish than you know, be giving me fish all the time because I want to be able to go out there and get it on my own, right? And so this book really helps you the process. And the analogy I use is a woman giving birth. It is not so graphic, so men can definitely watch it as well. But it is the process of the, 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 the conception of the thought. And, and the thought is always ordinary. But once you start to manifest that thought, that's where the extraordinary comes in. So, yeah, giving birth to purpose in an uncomfortable place. Also, the analogy I use in the scriptures when Mary um, birthed Jesus, it was in an uncomfortable place, in a manger. Imagine. Imagine a king being born in a stable where there were horses and goats and sheep and all that stuff, yet he was the king of kings. So imagine you giving birth to purpose in an uncomfortable place. Man, imagine that. Imagine that. And so this book will help you on the different stages um, of a process. Like, okay. uh, you know, when you start, when you start out and, and when you start out, sometimes it gets discouraging. There are points in here that will help you on how to maneuver, how to cope when you're dealing with the struggles that just come at you, like out of nowhere sometimes. And so this will help you every stage, like the waiting stage. Um, you know, what are you doing while you're waiting? You've been praying, you put in the work and you're waiting while there's still things coming at you. And so it's important for you to know how to deal with situations as you go through. It's like a storm. You know, how but you need your umbrella, you need this, you need shelter sometimes. Sometimes you can't all take it. You know, you sometimes you just gotta just step aside and just allow some things to pass or sometimes you just have to weather the storm. And so this book will help you if you are going through a rough time and you're trying to seek what your purpose is and you recognize how uncomfortable your environment is. This book will definitely help you. <laughs> I've been going on and on, but yeah, this book will help you. I can assure you, you can find it on Amazon and Barnes and Noble. And I'm on Facebook and Instagram and on YouTube, Process to Purpose. You can just message me and I'll definitely sign a copy and send to you. Right. Uh, okay. Okay. Yep. So get the pen out because That's I need to sign copy sent to 500. I'm yeah. just kidding. I'm not going to say my address, people. Okay? <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm serious, though, girl. That little snippet of what, what was it? Two minutes you explained your book. You just, yeah. you, you had me captured. And I, I can only imagine the steps that you put in place to help someone through that. And you yeah. remind me of a woman. Her name is Abraham Hicks. She's known to be a very well-known psychologist and a person who um, uses the law of attraction to her benefit and teaches other people how to do it. Yeah. And what you just reminded me of was something she said that I hold so dear all the time I think about this. It, mm -hmm. it helped me, it, just like I'm sure your book has probably something very similar. She yeah. said, today or any time, once I've set my rocket ship of desire, which is what she calls it, her rocket ship of desire, whatever it is that you want, right, to come to you or what you want to attract, once that's sent out, be understanding and at peace, knowing that it's working for you. That's right. Mm -hmm. right? I agree. Yeah, and to, and to add to that, girl, she said, not only be at peace knowing that it's coming to you, but when you see roadblocks in mm -hmm. your way, notice that that doesn't mean you're going on to a new path. It's, right. you're still on the same exact path. This is just a piece of it. And a lot of people, if they don't hear that, that never comes to mind, right? right? Because we always see some type of adversity 
as a failure and not a challenge mm -hmm. or something to be overcome. We see it as, wow, it didn't happen. So I guess that's it. I give up, right? And I don't know if that's how you depict it, but that's what initially came to mind when you said if there's the waiting game, right? There's different steps into this process. Yeah. So does that kind of resonate? There, there, there's, some, there's some areas where you're going to, there, there, a part of the process, you're going to feel like you're all alone. Right. What do you do when you feel like you're all alone? Because even now, um, case in point, this isolation period, it has messed up a lot of people's mind. Like um, they're so used to having people around them. Like when they're by themselves, depression sinks in. But in this process, sometimes you're going to feel like you're alone and then there's no one there to help you. And you're going to have to uh, figure things out on your own in that stage of the process. And so it's important for you to know like little tips and tricks and uh, things that you need to be able to help you um, as you're in that, uh, that alone state. Well, tell me this, is visualization one of the tools or the tips that you uh, have put into your book to use? I'm just curious. Oh, visualizing. As a matter of fact, you have to have a vision. Okay. Like, you have to see where you're going. You have to actually see where you're going. And that is really what pushes you and propels you and pulls you into, into just getting up and say, okay, well, let me shake myself off right now because I don't feel like it, but because of where I see myself, I have to push. And so it's, a, it's very important for us to have clear vision. We're just not going in blind. We're having faith, but we're making sure that we have all the resources, um, you know, everything that we need, the, the proper instructions right. while, while our eyes are fixed um, on what the goal and the objective is. So vis visualization is key. Being a visionary is important when it comes on to wanting to build, wanting to expand, you know, just mm. wanting to just go in different territories. So tell me this. Mm -hmm. I completely agree with what you're saying, but I'm curious. You know how we are told a lot to visualize things into the future, right? We're, we're told to see where we want to go, just like how you explain. A lot of people have trouble when they're doing that, when they're visualizing where they want to go, they see all the greatest pieces of themselves, right? But if they lack that, what is it? If they lack for, uh, uh, fusing the emotional state of being that they will also be in when they're there, right now, what I've noticed for myself and other people around me is that we don't necessarily feel as though that's really going to happen. You see what I mean? Because mm -hmm. we're still in this state of, of emotional being in this state right. of mind. So mm -hmm. even as we conduct our vision for the future, it still looks kind of dim because of right. the fact that we are not in that emotional state of being in the future. So is that a piece as well that you kind of intertwine in there? Or how do you I, I, I think so. Our f faith is very important because if you, if you not, not only that you want to think something, you want to believe it. There we go. You have to believe it. If you don't, if you just say, okay, well, I'm going to get this. And um, you don't believe that you can. Um, you know, our belief system is very important to us. Belief kills and it cures. And so if, if we, we say it with our lips, but in our minds and our hearts, we're not believing and trusting that this, I can do this. Right. No matter if I can do this through Christ who give me strength or God has already given me the ability to do this. Um, and so, and so it's important for us not to fear, like we have to take fear and doubt out of our minds when we are setting our mind to something. And, right. and, and that's very important because we, we ourselves will stand in our own way. Mm -hmm. and, and, and then, and then what I see even now in today's society, we blame others. We blame others while we're standing in our own way because Crazy. the opportunity is there. The opportunity is there. It's mm -hmm. just that we want it so easy that we're not willing to go around. We're not willing to go um, through the darkness, through the uncomfortable situation. You know, we don't want to look stupid. We're like, our pride is so high within us that, you know, we don't ask for help. Right. 
And sometimes it's just that one question you need to ask or that one person you need to ask for help who has the key to unlock some doors for you. But because in our mind, we're just so, we're just so prideful. We don't ask for help and we stand in our own way. And I can tell you, sis, that I refuse to stand in my own way. I'm not doing it because I know what's inside of me. And that's one of the good things um, that I've learned to love about myself. Mm -hmm. I know what I have in me. I know who I am. Right. And so, you know, I just, I just go. And if I, if anything happens, if I fail, I fail, but I'm not going to stop trying. And I'm imploring all of you that will be watching this video. Do not give up on yourself. Do not give up on yourself. You can put your mind to it. Put your hands to it. <laughs> Put your hands to it. That's the one yeah. right there. <laughs> we can think as much as we want. But unless we, can are, think it, we can believe it, but there's another part of the process yep. that we have to, there are some things that are required of us that we have to, we have to do it. We literally have to go out there and put our hands to the wheel and get it done. 100%. You know what I find interesting is a, not a lot of us know. First of all, you said something so compelling that no one that I know personally has ever said aloud and I can feel that they mean it. But you said that you know who you are, Salome. Oh yeah. You know who you are. Did you know who you were when you were 18, 25, 30 years old? Do you know what I mean? Did you know I, who the hell you were? I did not. I, and that's, and, and you know, I, I, I knew, so I wouldn't say I didn't know who I am. I just did, my belief system was not as strong that I can. I knew who I and I knew who I was, and right. um, but that I put I, I placed limits on myself, and so as I got older and I was more exposed and I became more knowledgeable, that's when my mind began to expand, um, you know, and I began to just just do what I, I, I that that I felt was right to do um, within me, and you know, made some mistakes along the way, but hey. Look at me now. <laughs> God is good. Coming out with a children's book, which you told me earlier. Now I see you in the music studios over there getting it in around all these huge speakers, the beautiful microphones you got your producer over here. I mean, you really took that and you ran with it because I can only imagine the fears and like you said, the limits that you have placed on yourself because I honestly feel like I'm in the same position right now. That's why I am doing the video creation a lot more because my nine to five, you know, I'm not there. So mm -hmm. I said, what else can I be doing? What do I love to do? And I'm, I'm, what am I already kind of gifted at? Something yeah. that comes relatively easy. I do it all the time. So yeah. I said, you know what? I'm going to ramp it the hell up and I'm just going to go with it. I've made so many videos I didn't want to put out, but I did because I felt like they suck, but people liked it. So yes, those were failures to me, but had I let those you know, uh, those failures <laughs> really get to me and take them extremely personal, I wouldn't have even been on this call with you right now. You know, we wouldn't even- But, 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 if, but if we look at it, you realize that you get better and better each time. There we go. You, when I, when I even go back and I look at, um, I, I look at my videos, like even from the first time to, until now, Right. It's gotten a lot better. It's gotten a lot. So if you are consistent enough, if you are dedicated enough and consistent, I think consistency is what I remember I was lacking um, mm -hmm. because I just move on to the next thing. And even though I was doing things, I was just moving on to the next thing without finishing one thing first. Right. But if we are consistent enough, it's just like going to the gym and yeah. you go two weeks and you lift the weights, you will never see nothing. Like it's soft. <laughs> But if you keep going and keep adding on to it, you know, um, you see how, <laughs> how strong you get. You, know? real. you can't give up so easily. It's a process. Absolutely. I love that, that you use the gym as a perfect comparison. I had to learn that with yoga as well as with meditation. Mm -hmm. Meditation has definitely been the more difficult one to do on a continuous basis. Right. Because... There's a fear, you know what I mean? There's a fear in there, just like going to the gym. You, you mm -hmm. kind of, do I really want to go through the struggle of going to the gym? Mm -hmm. 
And then you fear, do I really want to see what thoughts are going in my mind? Do I want to see all my fears? Do I want to see all my guilt? You know, because those things are going to come up in your meditation practice. Right. right. Yeah, so Lomi, you just brought up a perfect, perfect example of going to the gym and being consistent with it. That's definitely 100% key in any endeavor that we go through. So I'm really excited to get your book, girl. I, I really, truly am. So tell me whatever way is easier for me to order so I can get a signed copy of it, your beautiful signature, and uh, we'll keep it going. I will add links to every way that you can purchase this book in the description below, okay? You got it. You got it. Um, um, so, Salome, you told me you were writing a children's book, and I want to find out from you, is it going to be similar? You know, are you going to break down the, the process to purpose for kids, or is this something totally different? You know, it's funny how you talk about that, but, but thank you so much for bringing that up. Yes, I just fin I finished my children's book by the end of June. I will be, it will be out. Um, it is, I would say it is a mini version of um, the, you know, the adult book, the, my first book. However, it is very structured to um, children. It, from As a matter of fact, anybody could read that book, obviously. Um, <laughs> right. <laughs> if you are four years old and you can read that book, that book is yours. That, you should read that book. And up to teenager, you can read that book. Because it, 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 what, I, what I wanted to do is to um, you know, write a book that young children are able to read and say, I am this. I am this. I am who God say I am. I have what I need to win. You know, I am a purpose seed. I am, I have it inside of me. And so if we, in the society, if we are able to feed our children with those things from their really young, instead of feeding them with um, the blingy stuff like shoes and clothes and games, Man, what kind of society will we have, you know, um, if we just start them from their young, like reminding them who they are, telling them this is who you are. And it doesn't matter what anybody say. This is who you are. You period. know, it period, period. They grow up with strong, good stuff, good morals. Um, you know, anybody can't just say things and they just take it like, oh, I'm depressed or I'm going to kill myself because somebody told me that I'm ugly. No, because you grew up knowing, not only hearing, but believing and knowing that you're beautiful on the inside and out, and your hair yeah. has nothing to do with it. The color of your skin ain't got nothing to do with it. It's really mm -hmm. what is on the inside of you. And we will have a beautiful society of young, bold, courageous, smart, intelligent, um, young people, pretty much. <laughs> <laughs> perfect ending that was perfect. and so and it was also inspired by my little niece and she's five years old uh -huh. and, and when, when I get I re, she's in Jamaica and this gonna make me cry and tear up because when she saw my face on that book she said I want to write a book like my auntie and that that just melt me that just melt me so much. And, and so she looks up to me now when she said, mom, mom, um, auntie, I want to do this like you. And I want to do it. The other day she called me and she, she said, auntie, I wrote a song for you. And she's like, I want to be like you. I want to be kind and nice. And I'm like, uh oh, I got to be kind and nice. <laughs> so she just melt my heart. And so I am ensuring that the things that I'm doing, um, they're impacting the next generation, whether it's my neighbor, my son, my niece, my nephews, my brother, my sister. Everybody that knows me and is attached to me should be um, impacted by something that I'm doing. And right. that's, my, that's my goal. That's really what it's all about. So, Girl, yeah. I think you just helped me to discover mine. You really <laughs> did. <laughs> really really did you know I didn't even post this video yesterday because I felt like it was too strong but I post I, I made a video and then I didn't post it see that's what I was talking about hey shit I made a mistake but I'll fix it okay you guys will see the video but I said you know I really have to hire somebody to follow me around you know when I go out to the store and when I just go and do different things because my interactions with people are completely different 
than the cookie cutter, hi, how are you, thank you, goodbye, right? I have full conversations with attendants yeah. all the yeah. time. All that they know me by name, I know them by name. And when I come home and tell Rebecca these stories, she just, <laughs> she just laughs and shakes. It's, so, it's, it's so amazing. amazing. Okay. <laughs> It's so amazing when I when I I always try to look for an opportunity to share and listen to people and have people share with me, and it blows my mind all the time and 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 I love it and you know what it does for me too it 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 pushes me and 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 sometimes you know when I I'm even going through that little moment in the process it reminds me hey somebody out there that's going through a lot more how about I just use what I have to help them and, and be grateful exactly. for the little things. It allows you to be grateful. I'm telling you, people are, people are hurting and people are going through so much. And if we have, if we realize our dreams and our purpose that God has given us and reach out and help somebody else, that's making the world a better place. If you that's ask. It. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. In case in point, you know, I, I appreciate that. And I know that that's how you do too, girl. It's, it's evident. You know, location point yesterday when I was at Albertsons, I was filling up some waters and the attendant, you know, she, she was trying to stop me from going in without a mask. But I said, I'm just getting some water. Let me in here. So she let me in. And as I'm filling up my water, she's like, oh, man, it's so hot out here. Just complaining a little bit, you know. So she said, uh, oh, I only have 20 more minutes left on my on my clock. And I said, what are you going to do with those 20 minutes? It, this snowballed into a 20 minute conversation. She told me about her daughter. She told me about her family, her house issues. I mean, she just like nobody wanted to listen to this woman is what it felt like. So, you know, she took the first opportunities that she had and just kind of vented. And now she follows me on Instagram. I followed her back and we're connected now, you know, so that's just another divine connection made by being open, right? And having that confidence that you're instilling into these children before they even make it to the age to where they can do these things, you know, and have that freedom that, that we all were, we all were sheltered from when we were kids. Right. You know, we were told only listen to your parents and your teachers, right? Don't pay attention to just about any other adults out there, unless you're staying with your auntie or your uncle, listen to them in their house, blah, blah, blah. So mm -hmm. I find it very limiting, you know, because when we only acquire knowledge from the schools and from our family, well, then we're neglecting everything else out there. So that's mm -hmm. why I like that you're instilling that into this book, right? And, and it's just really great. It's really fantastic. And, and not giving ourselves an, an opportunity to expand. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. 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 Hello, man, I think we did really well on this first try, right? We got to do this again. <laughs> I appreciate you so much. And you know, girl, you are so, you are amazing. I remember when I first time I met you, I think it was when uh, my husband and I were, you know, you know, looking for our house and thing, and you were just so amazing to me, and I love you so much. And I love you too, girl. We would not be talking if I didn't. Trust and believe that. <laughs> and, and your mom is super duper amazing, and I just love her too. So, yeah. yeah thank okay. you. Thank you. And, and next time, Salome, I'd love to do it in person with you. because I've seen you do that with your husband. So I'd love to do it in person with you and we can just vibe out a little bit more. Oh, yes. There are, there are a lot of things to talk about. Listen, there are so many things that are happening right now that I'm, ooh, I'm just trying to get some things sorted out and get my, right. you know, some things in order and still take some time for me and my family, especially in this pandemic and everything. But there's so many things to talk about, so many things to pray about, so many things to encourage each other about. I mean, right. it's, um, and it, it's inexhaustible, pretty much, you know. <laughs> yeah, it's inexhaustible. I love that word. Yeah, so you know what's funny? We didn't even talk about what we were supposed to, right, which was no surprises or whatever, but we'll, we'll leave that for the next round. So Lomi, thank you so much, and please believe I'm grabbing your book. So again, everybody, the links to Salome's uh original book birth to purpose in uncomfortable places perfect perfect yes and that picture is beautiful too thank you yep i got you girl so i'll put all the links down below in the youtube description as well as the instagram description and we look forward to your children's book you know i'm going to get it for my sister dorian for sure <laughs> for sure oh yes miss dorian i love her <laughs> yeah girl and we got to hang out you know once this is all over with but uh much love salome thank you so much for being on here and many blessings to you your family and everybody out there watching thank you thank you god bless you god bless